Hi guys, welcome to my Scottish Stitch channel. This is Robin and Daryl. Don't worry about that, honey. Okay. Okay. Hey, what was I saying? Oh, welcome to our channel. And uh, we're getting ready to show jewelry from the Jewelry Jars 185. I have learned that while I was gone, he opened up a third jar. Well, you weren't going. You're just well. I was attention. here, but I wasn't paying attention. There you go, ding, ding, ding. Okay. <laughs> so anyway, this is three jars we're looking at. So uh, let's get started. Grab you something good to drink. I'm having coffee, so I can stay awake because it is five o'clock in the afternoon. A little after five. So here we go. Here's our first. We have a little turtle necklace. Very cute. And then this um, tassel pendant on a gold tone chain. I'll give you some little. You just let me know when you need them. Right. Here's the turtle. And I cut my finger. Yeah. Peeling up vegetables the other day. You know how you, you peel them, but you peel them with your your thumb? Well, it was cutting my thumb, and I didn't even know it. Oh, yes. But it was good. Made chili and potato salad. Here's the back of the turtle, and it is signed. Looks like double A-B, but I'm not sure. It's carved. This one is 18 inches, and we'll do the little turtle for five. The next one, I believe that's a faux druzy. Here's the back, nice tassel on this, and nice Rollo chain, it's long. Got a um, lobster claw clasp. The necklace is 30 inches. And we'll do that for four. Here's our next two necklaces. Red and smoky quartzy colored necklace, and then a white tassel necklace, beaded. This one has a lobster claw clasp, an extender with a bead that complements the beads on the necklace. Then you have these pieces here. Some of these feel cold, and I don't know if I'm just feeling the... Um, let me test them. What are you doing here? Take your time, honey. I'm not moving real fast. Okay, those are glass. Those are glass. Okay, so this is a mixture of glass and uh, acrylic. These clear ones are glass, and the solid ones are acrylic. The length on this is, give me one minute, 17 and a half inches. And we will do this one for three. This one looks to be vintage. Here are your beads on the back. They've got that drizzle look. Very pretty, and they space with little pearls. And then here are your beads. You've got oblongs, and round, and pearls being used again as spacers. Very nice necklace, beaded necklace. Here's this bead here. And then these. So it's an all beaded necklace. There's no metal on this. It is 36 inches. 
and we're going to do it for five dollars vintage very pretty oh, oh that's beautiful okay here we go we've got a silver tone um, circle necklace and then this beautiful abalone with a tassel necklace gold tone first one is silver tone This one is marked Lane Bryant Lobster Claw Class and Extender. It's in excellent condition. There's one side. The other side is textured. Very pretty. The length on this is, give me one second. Fully extended, it is. 21 and a half inches and you have a three and a half inch extender on this. So it goes from 18 to 21 and a half. And we'll do that one for eight. It's in very good condition. And the next one is a beauty. It's like a doublet. You see it's clear finished on the back that helps support the uh, abalone in there and there's your abalone pieces there is your um, capped tassel and it's got little rollo chains that match the rollo chain of the necklace it's got a, lo a lobster claw class extended with the bead This one is 32 inches. That's just gorgeous. We're going to do this one for 16. Here's our next two. Beautiful a cobra chain. And then this beautiful statement necklace. We have an extender with a bead. Here's your chain. Looks gold on one side and silver on the other. I don't know if it's supposed to be like that or not. It's a nice chain though. The length on it is twenty one inches. And we'll do it for three. It's got some various colors in it. Okay, next we have this curb bar pendant gold tone setting, and it's got rhinestones in it. Or CZs, very pretty. And then here is that statement necklace, sort of a greenish brown color very unusual color there's your extender with your bead this is gold tone and here's the little bar pinned it with the rhinestones they're all there here's the back it's in good condition very pretty let me measure it It is 19 inches fully extended and the extender is 3 inches. And we'll do that one for 3. Very pretty. This is amazing. It's got a nice extender and it is marked M-I-K-A. I have no idea. It's got an extra large lobster claw. This is well made. Should have done my homework. And then here are your beads. They are acrylic. 
Very, very pretty. Just love this. I'll let you look at this up close. There's the next one. And here are where your necklace starts. This is well made. We're doing that for 15. And let me give you a length. Fully extended, it's 24 inches and it's got a three inch extender. So it goes from 21 to 24 inches in length. Beautiful. There you go, honey. Next, we have a beautiful little cross, and I believe it has a diamond in it. And then a long pearl necklace. I think it's a long strand. It is. Yeah, this is the one I already tested. That's a diamond in the center of that. Let's see if we got any writing on this. Looks like it says 925 in here. There's an RJ. So let me loop it. 925 RJ. The necklace itself is also knotted up here. How did that happen? I don't know. You did it. I know you did it on purpose. <laughs> the boys used to say it wasn't me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you don't become a real parent till you have two kids. <clears throat> because you always know who did it if you only had one. Once you have two, hmm. or you could have five and just say, "Out of heck with it." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know somebody in that boat. <laughs> Braver than mom. Two boys was enough for me. I couldn't keep up with those two. Well, Come on, everybody. I think I'm making it worse. I get it separated, but then it doesn't want to un. Undo. Well, it made a liar out of me. It came undone. Can't pick up because of this band aid on my finger. Let's see what kind of chain this is. Looks like a curb chain. It is sterling, as is the cross with the little diamond. It's marked, and it's marked on the uh, clasp. And there's your little diamond in there. We'll do this for 30. And it is 18 inches. It's a beautiful cross necklace. These are glass, very long strand. The um, luster on this is beautiful. There's no clasp. 48 inches. 
We'll do that for five. Here's our next two. Just in the nick of time, honey. Mm -hmm. let, me see, let me see what you got going here with this one. Okay. We have a wire necklace with the red beads. Gunmetal color. And then we have this tassel necklace. Long necklace, gold tone. Here are your red beads and gunmetal colored on gunmetal wire and gunmetal gun findings. I'm going to measure it. Hi, right, George. It is. 17 inches at its shortest, fully extended. We'll do this for three. Very cute. We have one little bent piece here. Let it come straightened out. There you go, honey. Mm -hmm. And the next one is, we have a lobster claw. I don't know if that's used for hanging it up or what. But you could also take it apart and uh, make it a lobster claw clasp if you wanted to. Rollo chain. Silver tone, that's the back. Here's the front with the little rhinestones. We'll do this for two. And it's pretty long. It is Let's see what is thirty one inches. Thirty one inches, two dollars. I'm playing with it, honey. I can't help myself. I know. Okay. Here's our next two necklaces. A Y necklace. And this beautiful necklace here. Very unusual. Corded necklace. Love the beads on that. This one has a lobster claw class extended with the bead. Rollo chain. I believe these are acrylic beads. Little rhinestone here and here. We'll do this one for a dollar. And the length on it. Let me measure it. The extender is two and a half inches. And fully extended, it measures night no eighteen and eighteen and a half inches. And we're doing that one for a dollar. This one has a gold tone lobster claw class extender with a bead. Nice in caps. The wear is right there on top. And then that, it looks good. It's got a tan, like tan and gunmetal put together. These, I believe, are glass beads. I'm going to test them because there's a lot of metal here, and I may be just feeling the coldness of the metal. Oh, no, they're glass. And these look like gold tone, brass in color. They are magnetic. This is very pretty. We're going to do this one for 12. Did I give a measurement? No. I sure didn't. Well. The extender is 3 inches. 
Fully extended, the necklace is 19 and a half inches. Very beautiful beads. Oh, that's pretty. The next we have an anchor and a star silver tone necklace, and then a pretty black and silver and gold tone necklace. Very pretty. This one has a lobster claw clasp, delicate chain, silver tone. There's your anchor and your star. Love those. There's the back. I don't see any writing. And I didn't see any writing on this. I'm assuming it's not silver. But very nicely made. We'll do this one for three. This is the gold tone one. Comes together with a lobster claw. It's it's uh, double linked here. The Rollo chain, gold tone. There's your lobster claw. The chain is in excellent condition. And you have glass beads, some little um, rhinestone studded beads, textured gold tone beads in excellent condition. You have these half uh, foil and half black beads on there. It's very pretty, a great layering piece. Or a great piece to be worn alone. It measures at the shortest drop. It is 31 inches. And at the longest drop, it's 34 inches. And we'll do this beauty. It's glass and beautiful gold tone. Very rich look. We'll do this one for 10. Now, one of the viewers, when I was doing the unjarring, said that this could be the initial M, or it could also be Scorpio, the sign for Scorpio. It's 925 China, so it's either or, and this also is 925. It's marked on the clasp and on that piece there. This necklace is 18 inches. And we'll do this for 15. Very nice. Here we have a little heart necklace and this black long beaded necklace. I don't think I showed it. No, nope, you didn't. Okay. So here's our little hearts. Three hearts. Here's the clasp. I don't see any writing on it. Snake chain. It's in good shape. And the three little hearts. This necklace is... Fifteen and a half inches. And we'll do it for three dollars. Here is the beaded seed bead. Black seed bead. And this has got an ombre look to it. And this one looks like it has a rub piece here. Or it may be supposed to be like that because the rest of it's kind of marbled looking. You see that? And see how this bead is? So I think it's made to be like that, just like I think this is made to be like this. This necklace is 32 inches, and we'll do it for $3. The next we have a gold tone heart on a silver tone necklace. And then we have this pretty piece here. 
that is in set in gold tone. This one is marked TR. I don't know who that is. If anybody knows, please let us know. It's got a very interesting clasp. TR. Who could TR be? I'm looking for marks. Tina Ritchie? No, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, honey. Nice chain, though. Looks silver. This says Megan on that side. On this side, it has a beautiful heart stone in there. I'm going to test that real quick. It's the color of citrine. It's a CZ though, it's not, it's not um, citrine, it's a heart CZ. That is magnetic. Yeah, it's all magnetic. I guess you could either have this taken off. I don't know if it can be buffed off or not. Or you can just take it off. Let's see what this does. It's got little rhinestones on the bell there. Kind of looks like it could come apart, but I don't know. I don't think so. I don't know. Uh, we'll do this one for five. It's very pretty. This is interesting. This part is done in a beautiful bright gold. This is worn on this side, darker gold. This is a bright gold on that side. And then the chain is all a darker gold. I don't know if that's just where or what. I'm going to put that in the $18 Hobby Lots. Okay. Oh, that's going to help you. Okay, I'll let you help me. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. We have this necklace here, I believe is also silver, a silver necklace. We will check it out. And then this coconut disc necklace. Triple layers, very nice look. Let's see, yeah, we've got silver here. 925, um, 925 on the class. I don't know if y'all can see it. it. Wants to blur in and blur out. And then who wants to look at it with that ugly band-aid? Or wrinkly skin. Or scaly skin. <laughs> I can't wait for losing. Here we go. Here's a box chain. This is a cross. Very unusual. I'm looking for a mark on the cross. I thought I saw a mark on it. Oh yeah, I see it. You did. It's right back here. Come on. Oh, S-T-E-R, stir. It looks like it has some other stuff on there. But I can't see it. Nope. Anyway, very unusual. Nice box chain, but it is magnetic. Look at that. Mmm. It could be plated. Let me do this. 
Let me test it. Somebody recommended I do it this way. Definitely a silver. The chain. Yeah, the chain never said it was, did it? Yeah, it's yeah. marked. Oh. The class, and then the tag is usually the chain. The class was marked, 925. But sometimes they'll coat it with rhodium, and rhodium is magnetic, to help it keep from tarnishing so much. Or they could just be not telling the truth. You don't mean it. I mean it. All right, I've rubbed as much as I can. Let's see what we got. Let's do the glow in the dark. Just teasing. Let's see if they glow. see anything on that one on the chain so I'm going to say the chain is not silver but I'm going to do this again because I want to use my silver tester see what it does Ooh. Good rub. There we go. Looking for red. We've got red on this side and nothing on the chain. So I said the chain is not silver. It's a fake. See, no blood spot. There's your blood spot. So, yeah. So, we're only going to say the cross is 925, even though the other parts <coughs> are marked. We'll do this for $10. Still very pretty. Let's see who this is it's made by. Yeah, it's got Italy, 925. And 925 on the clasp. Let's see what the clasp does. Just for the heck of it. Yeah, the chain is definitely not silver. It's just the cross. Did I give them a length, honey? Nope. The length is 17 inches. Old cross on there, though. It's marked S-T-E-R-L. Get that off so I don't get it on me. Okay, that was exciting. That was disappointing. Next is the coconut shell necklace. You have this cute little coconut button beautiful copper colored cord these are just a smooth nicely um, 
polished, triple stranded. We'll do this one for three. Gorgeous, all natural. This is our next two. We have a gold heart on a black metal chain. And we have this pearl and chain necklace. And that is a chain. That's pretty cool. I like that combination. Beautiful gold tone heart. I don't see any marks. So I'm assuming it's not gold. Here is your chain, and I'm going to measure it. It is, it's got a two inch extender, and fully extended, it is 18 and a quarter inches. And it's very pretty. Has a little bit of wear on the clasp. I just noticed that. On that side it didn't have any wear. That's why I didn't notice it. And it's not magnetic. And neither is the heart. Well. Let's see what we get. You get what you get, so don't get your fit. Yeah, it's copper based. I'm going to say it's all copper based. Very cute though. Minimalist. I love the black and the gold combination. We'll do this one for four. Here's our next one. Spring ring clasp. Unusual um, piece of the clasp on. This looks vintage. It's very lightweight. Excellent condition. Great layering piece. It is. I heard that. At its shortest, it is 23 inches. And at its longest, it's 26. The chain part drops to 26. And this drops to 23. And we'll do this pretty piece. There's no wear on it. It looks very vintage to me. It's a nice, comfortable piece. We'll do this for five. Very nice. I don't know how I managed to put them not in these things, but I did. We'll put them all on there. Well, that's what I was trying to do, but I had to untangle this and it turned into a knot. Okay, well, we'll be right back. Okay, here's our next two. We have this wire one that's a little wonky. And these multiple shell necklaces just put together. They'd also be good layering pieces for other wooden necklaces, boho type necklaces. This one's got nice glass beads on it, little pearls. It's got a little pearl on the extender. It's got good um, bindings on it. We're going to put that into the $18 Hobby Lot because it doesn't take up any room. But you'll have some nice bindings and some more beads. And then we're going to do this group of shell right here for layering. Very nice pieces. We'll do those for five. Here, I'll let you put that up. Okay. Please. No. No. Take that. No, I need to get rid of this on my oh, arm. Okay. Well. That's what I was waiting to undo that. So I could. Okay. And the next two necklaces we have are a little silver tone rhinestone necklace and this Y necklace with pearls. Silver tone. This is icing. Fully extended. Beautiful little rhinestones. It's in excellent condition, even the metal. 
Well, there's a little bit of wear on that, but it's still in good condition. This necklace fully extended is, give me a second. Fully extended is 19 inches. The extender is 3 inches. So it goes from 16 to 19 inches. We'll do this one for 3. This one. It's got an extender with a bead. What is that? Looks like it has ears. I don't know. Oh, it's part of the necklace. Multiple strands. One, two, three, four. Curve chains. Then you have this array of pearls, different sizes. Goes down to this knot here. Then this long tassel, making a nice Y necklace. This necklace is... I'm going to measure it, hopefully. It's 25 inches, and the extender on it, that's fully extender, it's, that's fully extended, it's 25 inches, and it has a 2 inch extender on it. There you go, honey. Thank you. How much you said? Oh, I didn't say, did I? No. Uh, Eight dollars. Here's our next one. So we have a little heart theme going on here. Tiny little heart with a key. And then this heart, colorful necklace. Here's your little heart with the key. Very cute. Here's your necklace. Nine two five Italy, so it says. We'll test it. This one looks like it's got markings on the bell. Nine two five Italy. We'll do some testing here. We'll test the key. And the bell. And the Clasp. And I'm going to put all the red. Nope. I'm going to use the silver testing. Two, three, four. I see red all the way down, up and down, up and down. So, we'll lift it. I don't know if I'm going to get enough on this to show. I didn't. I can see it a little bit. Let's see if this side showed. There you can see it. Now they're all running together. There's the, well, oh, really? Mm -hmm. Don't scratch them so close. I won't. I learned my lesson. One. Hello. Hey. 
that's the heart. We'll do the key. This is the bell. Right there. The heart. The clasp. Over here. And the chain. Make sure I don't mess it up. Keep it up. Over here. All right, let's see. Let's try this again. Just This was the heart, this was the bell, this was the clasp, and this was the chain. And I can see red on all of them. There you go. Now let's see if I can lift them.